Hello and welcome to my voice meter banana setup tutorial. Download links for voice meter banana, VB audio cables, and audio router are down below in the description. Go to the bottom right hand side of your desktop, right click the speaker icon, head over to playback devices, and make sure that the VB audio voice meter VAIO device is set as your default playback device. Make sure that the cable input is also enabled and that the cable output under the recording tab is also enabled. Make sure that the audio bit rate for all of your audio devices is the same. So you do so by right clicking the device, heading over to properties, going to the advanced tab, clicking on this drop down menu and selecting from the list of different audio bit rates. The most popular and common are 16 bit 44.1 kHz and what I use, which is 24 bit 48 kHz. Whatever you decide to go with, you gotta make sure that all of your playback and recording devices all share the same audio bit rate. Here we have voice meter banana. Head over to hardware input one and select your mic device. Be sure that MME audio driver is selected. Down below we have the compressor and noise gate for your microphone. By turning this knob, you enable the noise gate. If you wanna reset, you can just double click. I set mine at five to get rid of background noise when I'm not talking. Select the B2 button. Next, we have the hardware input two channel. You're gonna click the drop down and select MME cable output. Be sure that no buttons are pressed down for the hardware input two channel. And then we can mute the hardware input three channel. Moving on to virtual inputs for voice meter VAIO, make sure that the A1 button is pressed down. And then for AUX, uh, you know, make sure there's no buttons pressed down. In the top right hand side, we have the hardware output. Select A1 and then select the audio driver that matches what you chose in both the cable output and hardware input one, which is MME. Usually have speakers or headphones as an option. Down below we have the master section. Here you have an EQ for different buses and channels as well. You can set different you know, equal, equalizer options for whatever channel you wish to as we exit that out. Be sure to mute A3 in both the recording cassette and the master section as we're not gonna need that channel. Next up, we go to the top right hand side of Voice Meter Banana, select menu. Be sure that system tray and show app on startup are selected. You need to make sure that Voice Meter Banana is running at all times. If not, you're not gonna get any sound. Next, we go to system settings here and make sure that the audio bit rate that is next to preferred main sample rate is the same as the one that you selected for your playback and recording devices. Now we can exit the system settings and that's it for the voice meter banana setup. Now moving on, I'm gonna show you guys how you can use this with other programs. Pull up the audio router software. You're gonna wanna make sure you go to file and then switch view to the list view. Uh, this gives you all the applications. Sometimes there, there's a bug where like Google Chrome doesn't appear. Audio router allows you to is reroute the audio of any application that you wish to, to a virtual audio cable that would allow you to have more options. For example, select Spotify, double click it, click the drop down menu and then select cable input. This allows me to have Spotify in the hardware input to channel. This allows complete control over the Spotify sound and then it allows me to uh, decide whether I hear it and my stream does or I don't hear it but my stream still does. An example of that would be if you pull up OBS Studio, you go to File, Settings, go to the Audio tab and for your mic for slash aux device 2, select Cable Output. Now mic and aux 2 is the cable output channel. This allows me to, if I wished, using Spotify as an example, play Spotify. The sound is rerouted to the hardware input to channel, which allows me to either raise the volume, lower the volume, mute the volume of said music. Now what I tend to do is when I'm playing, I have A1, the button disabled, 
but I still have music playing. Uh, this means that while I'm streaming, I don't hear the music myself, but my stream does. It allows me to hear footsteps clearer and just enjoy the overall gaming experience a lot more without music serving as a distraction. If you did want to hear it, just like your stream would, you would just simply need to press the A1 button and now you can hear the music. Another cool thing behind using audio router and voice meter together is that if I wished, I could completely mute the music and have music playing on my end where I can hear it, but the stream can't hear it. You have a lot of options. There's a lot of different uses and this setup is not only valid for Spotify, but it's valid for your Google Chrome web browser and websites like YouTube. So if you don't use Spotify, you might use Pandora. You can have your favorite Netflix show playing. You hear it, but your stream doesn't. This is the flexibility that you get when using audio router in combination with voice meter banana. Next up, we have VoIP applications such as Discord and TeamSpeak. They are very similar and the process is similar. I'm going to walk you guys through how you can set up your Discord and your voice meter on a one PC stream setup so that people could only hear your mic and not get nasty echo uh, that, that may result sometimes of just having the wrong settings. We're going to go down to user settings, select voice and video. And now for your output device, you're going to select the voice meter VAIO, which is this strip. And for your mic input device, you're going to select voice meter AUX VAIO. Here we have TeamSpeak, very similar to Discord. We're going to go to tools, select options. For our playback device, we're going to set that as VB Audio Voice Meter VAIO. Again, it is this strip that contains all your PC sounds. And then as far as our capture device, we're going to set that as this strip, which is uh, B2, um, bus number two, uh, capture device VB Audio Voice Meter AUX VAIO. Lastly, for OBS Studio setup, we're going to go to file, we're going to go to settings, and then to the audio tab. Your desktop audio device is going to be set as voice meter VAIO, which is this strip. And then your microphone forward slash auxiliary device is set as AUX VAIO, which is this strip. Mic forward slash aux2 you would use in order to adjust music sound. If you don't want to hear the music, you don't have to. You can completely mute it. You can turn up the volume, turn it down for your stream. You have many options by using both audio router and voice meter banana. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.